Hey everyone, hope you all are doing well. Today we're going to be reading Deuteronomy 34, Proverbs 9, and Hosea 10. Now let's pray before we get into the word. Hey Jesus, how are things up there? Things on here aren't too bad. Thank you so much for building this relationship with us and allowing us to get to know you. Thank you so much for all the blessings that you poured out on us that we don't deserve. Please guide us as we get into your word today with your Holy Spirit and open up our hearts and our minds to anything that you would have us to know. Please forgive us of our sins and lead us away from temptation that we might be more like you and glorify you in your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, let's get started. Deuteronomy 34 Then Moses climbed Mount Nebo from the plains of Moab to the top of Pisgah, across from Jericho. There the Lord showed him the whole land, from Gilead to Dan, all of Naphtali, the territory of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Judah as far as the Mediterranean Sea, the Negev and the whole region from the valley of Jericho, the city of Palms as far as Zoar. Then the Lord said to him, This is the land I promised on oath to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob when I said, I will give it to your descendants. I have let you see it with your eyes, but you will not cross over into it. And Moses the servant of the Lord died there in Moab, as the Lord had said. He buried him in Moab, in the valley opposite Beth Peor. But to this day no one knows where his grave is. Moses was a hundred and twenty years old when he died, yet his eyes were not weak nor his strength gone. The Israelites grieved for Moses in the plains of Moab thirty days, until the time of weeping and mourning was over. Now Joshua, son of Nun, was filled with the spirit, of wisdom because Moses had laid his hands on him. So the Israelites listened to him and did what the Lord had commanded Moses. Since then, no prophet has risen in Israel like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face, who did all those signs and wonders the Lord sent him to do in Egypt, to Pharaoh and to all his officials and to his whole land. For no one has ever shown the mighty power or performed the awesome deeds that Moses did in the sight of all Israel. Proverbs 9 Wisdom has built her house. She has set up its seven pillars. She has prepared her meat and mixed her wine. She has also set her table. She has sent out her servants, and she calls from the highest point of the city. Let all who are simple come to my house. To those who have no sense, she says, Come, eat my food, and drink the wine I have mixed. Leave your simple ways, and you will live. Walk in the way of insight. Whoever corrects a mocker invites insults. Whoever rebukes the wicked incurs abuse. Do not rebuke mockers or they will hate you. Rebuke the wise and they will love you. Instruct the wise and they will be wiser still. Teach the righteous and they will add to their learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. For through wisdom your days will be many, and years will be added to your life. If you are wise, your wisdom will reward you. If you are a mocker, you alone will suffer. Folly is an unruly woman. She is simple and knows nothing. She sits at the door of her house, on a seat at the highest point of the city, calling out to those who pass by, who go straight on their way. Let all who are simple come to my house. To those who have no sense, she says, stolen water is sweet. Food eaten in secret is delicious. But little do they know that the dead are there, that her guests are deep in the realm of the dead. Hosea 10 Israel was a spreading vine. He brought forth fruit for himself. As his fruit increased, he built more altars. As his land prospered, he adorned his sacred stones. Their heart is deceitful, and now they must bear their guilt. The Lord will demolish their altars and destroy their sacred stones. Then they will say, We have no king because we did not revere the Lord. But even if we had a king, what could he do for us? They make many promises, take false oaths, and make agreements. Therefore lawsuits spring up like poisonous weeds in a plowed field. The people who live in Samaria fear for the calf idol of beth Avon. Its people will mourn over it, and so will its idolatrous priests, those who had rejoiced over its splendor, because it is taken from them into exile. It will be carried to Assyria as tribute for the great king. Ephraim will be disgraced. Israel will be ashamed of its foreign alliances. Samaria's king will be destroyed, swept away like a twig on the surface of the waters. 
The high places of wickedness will be destroyed. It is the sin of Israel. Thorns and thistles will grow up and cover their altars. Then they will say to the mountains, Cover us, and to the hills, Fall on us. Since the days of Gibeah you have sinned, Israel, and there you have remained. Will not war again overtake the evildoers in Gibeah? When I please, I will punish them. Nations will be gathered against them to put them in bonds for their double sin. Ephraim is a trained heifer that loves to thresh, so I will put a yoke on her fair neck. I will drive Ephraim. Judah must plow, and Jacob must break up the ground. Sow righteousness for yourselves. Reap the fruit of unfailing love, and break up your unplowed ground. For it is time to seek the Lord, until he comes and showers his righteousness on you. But you have planted wickedness, you have reaped evil, you have eaten the fruit of deception. Because you have depended on your own strength and on your many warriors, the roar of battle will rise against your people, so that all your fortresses will be devastated. As Shalman devastated Beth Arbel on the day of battle, when mothers were dashed to the ground with their children, so will it happen to you, Bethel, because your wickedness is great. When that day dawns, the king of Israel will be completely destroyed. Thanks for joining and listening today. If you have any questions, leave them down here in the comments section, and I'll be making some videos where I go through some of those questions, show you some of the questions that I had, and maybe we can find some answers or even dive into it together. Thanks, guys. Hit the like and subscribe and come back for more. All right, guys, take it easy. Bye. God bless.